and we have a topic today that I think might be the most important topic, although they tend to all be very similar. I'm going to move this over here. It's kind of far away. But today's topic is about the five most dangerous trends in back pain treatment. Back pain, we talk a lot about back pain and there tends to be a lot of simple solutions on the internet, but back pain, back pain is very, very, very complicated from the point of view of how it's managed in the industry. The industry doesn't manage back pain very well and it's actually reaching epidemic proportions where we're spending more money and back pain's actually getting worse. And it seems like the more money we spend, the worse it gets. So why do we do this? We do this to help you survive this course of back pain. We do this to give you the tools so you can make better back pain decisions because quite frankly if you make the wrong decision or if you just continue down a path where it doesn't get better then you kind of wind up where we're at with this presentation today so <clears throat> this is an introduction this is the lay of the groundwork over the next five weeks we're going to cover each of the bigger problems that are leading to chronic back pain getting worse and how it becomes dangerous and it's dangerous well we, we've talked about the narcotics and the use of narcotics and the fact that 33,000 people die every year from narcotics and 20,000 of those are prescription narcotics but the American College of Physicians last Tuesday which was Valentine's Day released new clinical guidelines now <clears throat> This is important because the American College of Physicians are your typical internal medicine specialists and general practitioners, and maybe they're not specialists, but they, they're like the front line. So when you have a problem and you go see your family doctor, he's part of the American College of Physicians. And they had to establish new guidelines and the reason they had to establish new guidelines is because the way they were doing things wasn't working and matter of fact the truth be told is <clears throat> it tends to be very unorganized there is no flow there's no start here and go here and then hopefully when you get here you're better it's kind of we talked about the ping pong ball and part of the ping pong ball experience is people not knowing what the best form of treatment is, which is why we do this show. It's why we do live videos, okay? This is why they put this out last week. This is a big document, okay? Because the way it says, it says you have to change. Now this goes to all the family physicians. How many read it? I have no idea. I read it. I read it because it's what we do. But there's a good chance that not a lot of people are going to read it. So we're here to talk about it because it tends to be a serious problem. This is not just about how we treat sciatica and how we treat back pain and how our solution is better. This is really about this document. And this document is important because one of the most common reasons that patients visit their primary care physician or their family doctor is because of low back pain. 80% of the entire population will have back pain sometime in their life. And this number is getting bigger. It used to be less. Every year it gets bigger. 25% report having back pain in the last three months. That's one out of four. Okay, Back pain is very common. That's why this show is very, very important because we give you the tools. We give you the tips. We give you the stretches. We give you the exercises. What we do will help you. Okay, 
We live in a culture where we sit 36 million Americans. There's a lot of numbers on here. Half of all workers report missing work because of back pain. 7.6 million people cannot work, period, because of their back pain. And we're spending more money, $86 billion. We've talked about that. Every year, we're spending more money. We spend upwards of $200 billion. There was a number that came out of the Orthopedic Surgeon Society, American Orthopedic Surgeon Society, that said upwards of $200 billion each year is spent on back pain. More than cancer. We're spending a lot of money and the problems aren't being solved. It's enough to buy two brand new Cadillac Escalades, and, and, and the reality is the solution, the way it's being done, is not getting better, which is why they put out this document, okay? So this is just gonna be an introduction. I don't wanna to spend too long talking about this. I probably already spent too long talking about this. Cody, have I spent too long talking about this? Maybe. <laughs> it's Monday. All right, so the key is the disc. Part of the trends are how we treat it. Here's it. And that to me is really the biggest trend right there. Is there's no, there's no beginning and there's no end. There's this, sometimes this experience. You go to this provider, you go to that provider, you go to this provider, and it never, ever, ever gets better. But typical progression is narcotics, chiropractor, physical therapist, Tylenol, probably massage therapist, I didn't put that in there, pain specialists, cortisone injections, neurosurgeons, orthopedic surgeons. It's a slippery slope. It's a slippery slope and you need to know what the benefit of the treatment is. If you don't understand the benefit, that's when you get hit. This is about what is the problem. Identify the next four or five weeks about these trends. Because when you understand the trend, you make better decisions. So that's it. That's my rant on a Monday. I know it's a Monday. We had a beautiful weekend. If you like what you hear, I want you to like our Facebook page. I want you to share our information. Also, I want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter and then retweet us. That's what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> that's it. It's Monday. We'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is a tip. Wednesday is a stretch. And Thursday is an exercise. And Friday is playing golf. All right.